welcome back to episode 30 of Greenland and we are making that baler swap that I mentioned last time so the big baler and the front wind rower are going I think we got about 130,000 pounds for that and then 187 and a half for the crone variant of the big baler and rake nice thing about this one is it has a silage additive tank on it not sure if the others did or not but you know uh, it's going to be useful for later on because we're going to be making lots of grass silage as well but first off we need to finish up baiting this hay and this is so good um compared to the combination just a quick thank you to the patrons including uh brian our new patron uh, and the youtube channel members appreciate the support you guys provide to the channel and um, yeah this is so much better than the separate combination that i was running yes it cost 50 grand more but i think it's going to pay for itself really quickly yeah the issue we had with the separate combo where we were leaving bits as we turned seems to be completely non-existent with this cut this one so yeah really pleased um the plow has finished in field 60 left one tiny piece so we're going to get that moved over to the mega field and get the uh the class working on plowing this so we're gonna have uh we've got the arion i think no got the little fent mulching and now the big class plowing and i am gonna get the arion rock picking in a bit as well um basically so we can get that field prepped because that is going to be planted for grass for a winter cover crop before the soybeans go in next year so yeah this is so good um totally worth the extra 50 grand as i was saying i did have to pause the recording because i'm surrounded by dogs still um the hills are kind of tough and uh there is an option in the shop later on that might solve that problem but financially we're kind of struggling well we're not struggling and um, financially it would be difficult um so the one downside i found with this baler is um vca's gps doesn't auto width it so I just had to manually put in the uh, 10 meter width i think it's about a 10 meter width it seems about right to me so yeah and just skipping rows and plowing well not really plowing because we're bailing not uh, we're getting through this job really well um, yeah if you can't tell i was really happy with the decision to make this purchase i think this is by far my favorite square baler option um and we do pretty much i don't think we even have a round baler on here no i don't think we do i think we're doing all square bales on here because we have the square bale wrapper as well which we will be breaking out in a little while but all of the hay is done um so that can be collected and put into the shed uh, so it will go into the Casa Farms auto stacking bale shed. I've left the bottom bale because that was a different size and so won't auto load with the rest of these, but we will go pick that up in a moment. So the shed is looking much better for three fields of hay. I think we're probably going to switch over to silage now from the rest of the grass that we have. Um, I'm going to wind row with the mowers and then we'll just go around with the rower baler combo um, as you can see here and um, so this has been mown on course plate for us and then I'm running around manually with the baler I think uh, you can almost straddle two rows with this wind rower I think it would almost be worth setting course plate to do a, an eight meter mow width rather than an eight and a half um, because I could then grab two rows in one pass with the baler. The mower would do a little bit more, but the baler would do less. You can just about get it sometimes. Um, so I may try that next time round doing silage. Um, so we did have a slight problem. Um, yep, there was an ID 10T error and someone forgot to change the bale size from 140 centimeters down to 220 so we could wrap them. So yeah, we do have an issue there. Um, you will have seen from the thumbnail that I had a really good suggestion on how to fix it. Um, we've now got the horsed cedar down in the field ready to go for grass. No fertilizer in there because I'll sort that separately. Um, but yep, yeah, so we've now got the... Uh, don't think the mulch is finished, but we have the 
if it hasn't we have the mulcher the plow the rock picker and the cedar running i think the mulch is finished yeah the mulch had finished um just briefly caught a glimpse of it in the corner and i have now switched to the 8rx to bail um, it's not as fast as the Deutz, but that doesn't matter when you're running an implement because we're power limited. So yeah, did a better job. Um, and these bales will wrap. And so course play is going to uh, sort out wrapping all of those for us. So I'm just trying to stop my dog doing something it shouldn't be. So tractor uh, is repaired and being refueled. The repair bills on here are not cheap. Trying to record surrounded by dogs is not as much fun. They make a lot of bits of noise that you don't realize when you are just sitting with them that are much more important when I'm trying to do this. So as you can see, in this case, I can straddle the two rows, but not in all situations. So I think if I made it a little bit smaller um, on the mow width, we would very easily be able to do two rows every pass. And that would save baling time and baling is the thing that i'm doing manually so that would be good i think um i was talking in the previous video about whether we need more mowers or another baler um so yeah this is the option we had in the store the magnum afs connect but what we actually need is seed for the cedar um so i've brought the auto load trailer down i'm gonna take a bunch of seed down to the field yeah they were saying the, I was musing about whether we needed a big M or mowers. Mowing is not the limiting factor. Bailing isn't really, apart from the fact that I do it manually. I could do that on course plate easily enough. Bail wrapping. And particularly as we had an entire field, we didn't have to bail wrap. Bail wrapping was by far the slowest thing. So just refilling the cedar here. I think next time around, we're going to buy another bail wrapper. We've got enough tractors to run a second one. So I think that will really help out. The rock picker is full, so 50,000 litres of rocks going into the rock crusher. That's going to give us a couple hundred thousand litres of lime, which we will probably sell all of, I suspect. I don't think we need any of it. Um, so rock picker is pretty much done. You'll notice I have put a mud boundary around the field. Um, I don't know if you remember uh, um, when I was trying to set up the forage harvest, I was having problems with course blade detecting the field boundary. Where I had mowed the field, it had sort of combined them. It was more obvious when I ploughed them that some of the field edges had gone, um, which is why I've gone around. So we, did, we did an atom, a course play did an atom. We're out of fuel, which is why I brought the fuel trailer. So it's not really a problem. Um, yeah, I found that um, some of up, oh, and now we're going to deal with the bale problem. Uh, suggestion from just that atom again, the beaverator. Um, massively expensive but really cool I think it cost us about we have 19 grand to lease it um, this is a dolly that goes on the back to turn it into a trailer we can tow with the lorry and we're going to use this to mash up some bales yeah as I was saying the uh, the mowing the grass seems to have destroyed the field boundary um, so I have gone around the whole field and just put in that dirt boundary to separate them so I'm hoping that will make course play better behaved this thing is a beast. Um, we did reasonably well getting it in the farm, actually. Um, just backing it up to the silos, and the plan is to chuck those brass bales that were too big into the fermenting silos, and I figured we'd need to use something like this to break them up. And it looks cool. Um, so yeah, we'll get this set up. We'll go grab the bales and the telehandler, and we'll get those chucked in. There is one straight hay bale there guessing that was left over from a full baler I think um, and you can see lots of blue wrapped bales appearing in the fields around us do I think that's the extra bale color mod I don't think that's one that I added in um, so let's get some bale shredded this uh, you can then just let these ferment the uh, grass down and feed it through the BJ I think be a good idea had planned to sell this silage anyway because it's bonus on top of what we need we've still got stuff in clamp from the very first silaging we did and we've still got bales but yeah we uh 
think we can just sell this stuff when it's ready. I hate the way that trailer stacks bales, I really do. Um, so I have found something out by accident. Yeah, these silos will take bales. We don't need the beaverator thing. So I've returned it and we're just gonna throw the last lot straight into the silos. And that was a waste of 17 grand and a bit of time, but it was kind of fun. Um, but yeah, this is much quicker. There we go, done. Uh, so we've got about 150,000 liters in each of those. So we'll just let those ferment away and then uh, I'll send them to the BGA or I'll use it for feed. I don't know yet. Um, the chaff from the corn is still sat there because we're waiting for maize plus to drop so that I can make that into maize silage. And we don't need silage for anything else at the moment, so we might as well just store it. Now just going around loading up the bales. The two 20 centimeter bales load on the trailer much better to this point, and then they do this. I don't get it. It annoys me. Um, but yeah, anyway. We're going to clear up all of these and get them stored. There we go. Just a couple more to go. Decent number of bales off of there. I did make a note of how many it was, but I have forgotten. It was about 99, something like that. And yet more seed. So we are pretty much done with planting the mega field, but we have another field to plant for grass. Um, so picked up some more seed. Yes, I am planting a lot of grass fields at the moment. That is because we are going to be swapping over most of our grass pastures. Um, so unlike what I normally do, and I think what most people normally do, I'm rotating the grass fields on here. So I just repaired the tractors again. Uh, the 10 grand gone. Um, and yeah, so the two grass fields that would be in front of us that are on the hill are going to become arable fields next year. We need to plow those in soon. Um, and not this field but the arable field next to it we're going to put for grass and so this field is going to go to grass see so you notice i've swapped tractors i had an issue with proceed the proceed hub not coming up and i needed to turn fertilization on couldn't get it to turn up and i thought it was the tractor it wasn't what i did is i just went into the uh the save game and deleted the proceed .xml file and the game recreated it whenever he started and the HUD was back. So that was that. Yeah, so the field in front of us, um, I think it's field 79, um, is going to be ploughed in for an arable crop as well. So yes, we've planted a lot of grass fields, but we're going to be losing a similar amount of grass fields next year um, or at the end of this year in a couple of months. Um, so yeah. Um, that's why it seems like at the moment I'm planting a lot of grass because I can plant grass at any point and if I plant it now I might get a cut off it before the end of the year. And we are kind of heavy into our silage on here but yeah there'll be three at least three grass current grass fields that are being ploughed in to go to crops next year or later this year because we'll be planting them as winter crops spring spring crops we'll harvest them in sort of spring late spring. I'm rambling um, she's probably getting to a good point to end the video soon um, this was really quick I do like this horse planter I like um, so these sort of 9 12 meter planters cedars are really nice for the size of fields that I'm playing on most of my games at the moment except for early which you can see if you become a patron um, but uh, Harmsden Greenlands feels like 9 to 12 meters is the sweet spot um, and this nine meter planter did the mega field. Yes, it was all running on course play while I was doing other jobs, but it didn't take that long. But that's kind of cool. Anyway, I am going to say thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button. If you didn't, click the dislike button because that helps me too. And probably means you won't see any more of my videos. Well, why would you want to if you sat through 15 minutes of it and then decided you disliked it? You know if you got to this point you've helped me out anyway with the outreach uh, comment below if you enjoyed the video got questions didn't like the video think i need a new voice all that kind of really helpful stuff that people like to say um, we're going to run this tractor back down to the yard and i'm going to get it washed and i will see you next time